Hello. These are a set of 15mm models. They're new from Brigade Models in the UK. And uh, I've just got a sample set here of the standard squad. And at the back, uh, there's like a, a ground mount uh, weapon, which comes with like a tripod, which I'll show you in a moment. These are the standard sort of squad members. And mostly they have an assault rifle, which you can sort of see if I move that guy around to the side. If you look at that, he's got a, it's an interesting um, sculpt in that I like the little disc sort of in the center, which could be sort of where you load the ammo, or if it's a laser, that's where the battery could sort of click in. Um, so yeah, I like the style of weapon and the sort of detailing on the top of it's nice, um, which will take a good sort of dry brush. Uh, you've got one guy that's pointing that you could use as a leader down there. Another, another kneeling here. This guy that just fell over has, uh, oh, actually not that one. Uh, this was the one I was going to point out. Has a sort of communications tablet in his hand. Uh, iPad 50, military uh, ruggedized edition. Um, and then you have a kneeler down here with a sort of a, a squad uh, attached assault sort of weapon here. Uh, automatic weapon, well it's not automatic, is it? it's either a missile launcher uh, or you could use it as a sort of a heavy laser sort of an anti-material weapon anyway of one variety or other, your choice really I suppose and um, so 10 different sculpts I believe, I will be corrected if I'm wrong and two of the squad members, these ones here have a slightly different weapon in hand which is longer than the normal sort of assault weapon that the rest of them have and it has this sort of looks like a shotgun kind of reload um, on the near the end of the barrel, but it also has a scope. So I suppose you could use this as a sort of a sniper type weapon uh, with a longer range than the normal squad um, auto rifle type thing that they've got there. So before I scoop them out of the way, I'll just show them uh, body wise up against a sort of Curasan model, and you can see. Obviously these chaps are armoured, so in terms of the fact that they've got armour plating on, it's kind of in line with the fact that this chap hasn't got any armour on his legs, so they're going to look a bit chunkier. But they are a bit chunkier overall. And then I've got an older GZG sort of civilian medic type model there. And you can see again they're very similar to those. Um, sort of head to toe if he was on the base, uh, they'd match them perfectly. So they're good size fit for other range of games. I'd be happy matching them in with these Curasan ones because these are, aren't armoured. Oh, and this is another sort of heavily armoured one from ACP games. And you can see again, if they're all up on the base together, they're about the right size, although the ACP one has quite uh, skinnier legs, uh, sort of some more uh, sort of slender profile going on there. Yeah, so reasonably uh, good match for other uh, miniature ranges. I like the sculpts, I think. I like that chunky look. I like their visors. I think they paint up nicely. And uh, the weapons are detailed enough and interesting enough in terms of having the variants in the squad. So if I shovel all of these ones out of the way, and then move forward the uh, variety of um, heavier weapon ones. So you've got a kind of a spotting guy um, here laying down. And then... You've actually, you get two of these sort of weapons with tripods with this set. I don't know quite what you get with a set, actually, whether these are two different sets or one where you get uh, two tripod mount weapons. These are quite interesting in that they, they have that sort of... Um, I'm not going to be able to balance that on there. But they have that sort of accelerated um, railgun kind of look that makes you wonder if there's some sort of accelerating process going on in the barrel. And obviously this chap can kneel back and... Hold on to that. Equally, this guy that's got a more sort of kneeling forward rather than sitting back style as well. So you've got some variations there. I think I prefer this one that's sort of kneeling into it there. It looks a, like he's really getting into the uh, the action, has just run up to it rather than the more settled in look of the kicking back into the, uh, uh, into the uh, heavier weapon. Yeah, so a nice little range there. And... Uh, I thought I'd just give you that little intro. So they're available uh, soon, I think, if not now, on the uh, brigade uh, models.co.uk website. Thanks for listening in.